Hey there, are you trying to build a community website? Well, good for you and good for us because we're here to help you in making that a reality quickly and easily. Here at Software, we have a myriad of different templates to choose from, and this is one of the latest and greatest that you can try out if you go to software.io today. Now, in this video, I'm gonna dive into this template, which has some great features and allows you to essentially have a registration and onboarding process, great searching and filtering, awesome detailed bios with events, having spaces and communication among team members, as well as you can apply for and submit new job opportunities with these here. So let's take a deep dive into this template. Pressing use template right here. I'm gonna be able to add this and copy her to my Airtable account. And you'll notice here that we have a fair amount of tables. So first of all, we have a sign up area, which is essentially where all of the new members are signed up members themselves. So those people who are actually members or admins, you can see that there are two user roles right here. Various events are going to be held here and they're attached to the attendees, which as you can see is right here in this event attendees. Then we have spaces. It's like the physical spaces that you can hang out, space members. So people who consistently go to things like coffee chill, space jam. Now these spaces don't necessarily have to be physical and then there's job opportunities that could be listed here head of innovation at snap that's pretty cool head of research at figma and then there are some other resources like material design which has some urls listed out for that and then some perks to go along with it like some 500 dollars free credit make sure you select design club uh, for this air table one right here. Let's press create an application and get that data connected. All right, so taking a look at this website, I wanna view this as a non-logged in user first, just to give you a view of it. So here on the homepage, we have a non-logged in user that just showcases the different ways that this platform can be beneficial to a user. And then if we press explore features, it just does a little auto scroll down there. If we want to get signed up to a newsletter. We can type our email in there. And what that's gonna do is if we click here, you'll see that the action is, is just gonna send that to a specific email. We can also have it send to other things. The action doesn't necessarily have to be going to an email. It could also be adding it to MailChimp uh, or other platforms as well. Now, if we press learn more, once again at the top, just gonna send me down here. So by pressing logging in slash apply, See, Lucy is a member. I want to see this from a member standpoint. So let's just sign in as Lucy in this preview mode. So now that I'm logged in, I can see my different members if I go to the top and they got all their community profiles, which is really cool. So just as a member, you'll see that I have the ability to check out all of my fellow members. You can filter them by their different skills like UX and then possibly select the one remaining like this. And you'll see that it has a really nice description that the person wrote, how long they've been a member, the profession, some other, their skill sets right here. And then I could contact them by clicking this button. And this is gonna, this sent out to a Apple email option. So it's that mail to hyperlink that works really well in order to send emails from clicking a button. Now here are some of the other things within the details page. You can see what events they're attending, Seems like Mike isn't attending any and what space memberships that they actually have. Well, let's take a look at somebody who has some space memberships. Let's go to find actually Lucy herself. See that she is attending a lot of events and is a member of a lot of different space memberships. So by clicking on the beginner UX design, so I can view any of these events by clicking on this view event button right here. And for the space memberships, same thing. I could click on this and view the different spaces as well. You can also just scroll up to the top and see the spaces that exist within here. And even as a member, you can even create a space. So as much as you can search and go through those and even register on this button, we'll see that you can press join space. I would like to join. Also see the other members right there, but I can create a space of my own. And by putting the space name, the next meetup date is optional as is marked here, as well as the start time, a little description and a cover image. This create space form is very useful because also with hidden fields, it does map who it was created by email wise, which is cool. And you can see more details about the events by clicking right in here and going inside of them individually, not just within the individual people's pages, and you can confirm your attendance. And since I'm logged in, my attendance has been confirmed and I'm going. 
That's right. I'm 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 going more than more than most for sure. The information on this one's pretty short and sweet. You can learn user experience fundamentals and master the design process with the user-centered approach. And you can see the date, the time, and how long it's gonna be. Not only that, but I also have the ability to see design resources, which is awesome. So if I click on any of these, I go to the specific design resource of the hyperlink that's within here. It's essentially what you're seeing here. Any of these are hyperlinked to something that is very useful. So like a beginner's guide to psychology principles in UX design. That would be useful for someone who's new to UX. And this is based off of different things. So the top section is for best practices and categories. This is for UI elements. So it's kind of sectioned off into different things right here. If you're looking for different categories, you can go through these and search for different names. So we can look up, we can look up Tinder, for example. So you can see that was in there. And then uh, take a look at this on Medium. And second to last but not least, I can take a look at all the community perks that you saw here. So these deals will be listed, and as a member, you can just take advantage of it by clicking Get Deal, and it'll go to the hyperlink with the deal attached to it. And then finally, we do have those listed community jobs you saw earlier. So if there are new job opportunities, as a member, you're able to create these out there, and they'll get listed right here. If you wanted to add a layer of like review or status needs to be open, you could, for this, just have this filtered to uh, status is and then open. So then that needs to get marked in order for them to, to be viewed. Uh, as always in software, if I were to do this, I'd actually have to go into the platform itself. If this preview mode doesn't show anything. You'd have to actually fully go in there. And you'll see right here, after doing that, it does affect the filtering. And even for the individual person themselves, by the way, if I go to my account settings here, I have the ability to update my name, email, avatar, and change my password as well. This entire system allows for a myriad of different things to connect. The members themselves, events, different resources, even job opportunities. This is the kind of thing that we like within software. You're able to aggregate data and have multiple people be able to connect with each other in things that they care about. If you like this video and wanna see more content on how to improve your skills using software, make sure to check out videos like this one on how to improve your skills even more.